hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you are welcome my name is beauty guys on this video we are going to be making a goosey soup yes so so over here are all my ingredients so over here is my goosey i have some bitter leaf here so i just soak it so it can be and be a little bit soft i have some cow skin here which is also known as mama and some okboroko then i have some fish and some you know chicken over there i also have some cow trip and some dried fish this is my awe fish and over there is my local beans and have about three uh, three cups of egusi there and over here is the pepper which i'm going to be using for this egusi i have the red bell pepper and onions with atarodo with a little bit of ginger and garlic so guys what we are going to guys i had it about half one and a half cup of my red oil so what i'm going to be doing now is to add my onions to it i'm going to be adding my onions i'm just going to give it a turn and I'm going to be adding my local beans to it because I want it to fry to give it that flavor. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to allow it to you know, fry for about 30 seconds before adding my blended pepper guys at this juncture i'm going to be adding my blended pepper So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to allow it to simmer before adding any other seasoning to it. I'm going to allow it to simmer. So guys, I'm going to be adding my pepper and the uh, my add one one teaspoon, and I'm also going to be adding my crayfish. This is my crayfish, two tablespoon of my crayfish. Allow the ingredients to get cooked with it, guys. It's about 20 minutes now, as you can see, the oil has separated from the stew. So, what I'm going to do now is just to add in my meat. So, I'm going to be adding my, my cow skin and the okoroko in there. going to be adding my cow skin and then uh, my cow trick and my fish and my a wee fish and I'm just going to give it a stir the taste is just perfect it all depends on how you want or a goosey if you want your goosey to be you know watery or if you want it to be thick so what i'm going to do because i don't want it mine to be thick i'm going to add a little bit of my meat broth i'm going to be adding it i'm going to be adding some chicken broth in there guys what i'm going to do now is just to add some chicken broth into it so you can also use water just to mix it but i prefer using meat stock since i have my 
meat stock or chicken broth, any one you have. So I'm going to be adding my chicken broth there. You can as well mix it with water. It all depends on what you want and what you are looking for. Guys, at this Joshua, I'm going to be adding my egg. We'll see. Yes, so as I said earlier, I don't love my egg to be thick. I want it lighter because in my home we don't eat egg that much. That is why I want it lighter. Really short, guys. So, so delicious. I'm, I'm still going to allow it to simmer before adding my bitter leaves. going to be adding my butter leaf in there. The taste is just perfect. So in the next 10 minutes, it is done. It is done, guys. It is done, done, done. Yeah, this is the final result. Looks so yummy and delicious. If you know you are hungry, hurry now. Let's come and dive it with. On the DM. See you all on my next video. Up in then, guys. Remain blessed. Bye bye.